Hey everybody, it's Tyler Horvath with Titan Media with a new video for you today. Uh, we are going to be talking about accelerated mobile pages or AMP and we are going to talk about how to implement those into your WordPress website. So what is AMP? Well, as we said, it stands for Ex Accelerated Mobile Pages and it's a way to build web pages for static content that render much faster than a normal uh, HTML page. Uh, AMP in action consists of three different parts. There's AMP HTML, which is the HTML that has some restrictions that uh, makes the performance more re reliable. And uh, it also includes some extensions for building rich content beyond the basic HTML language. Um, second, you have uh, the AMP JS library, the JavaScript library. Uh, this ensures that there is fast rendering of AMP HTML pages and that there's no slow JavaScript to slow those pages down. Uh, and lastly, there's the Google AMP cache, which is the caching system that's used to uh, serve uh, your AMP HTML pages uh, as a cache version, so it's, it's much faster than, than normal. Um, so how do you put this on your WordPress website so that it's available for uh, mobile users searching for for content in Google? Well, we're going to show you how uh, right here. So first thing that you're going to want to do is um, log in to your WordPress site and go to plugins and add new. Uh, we're going to be adding two different plugins uh, that they they work uh, together to make your pages AMP uh, possible. So go to search uh, at the top, search for AMP, um, scroll down and find this one down here uh, by Ahmed uh, Kaludi, um, and it's got the white phone with the blue lightning uh, bolt on it. Just install that, and once it installs, click activate. Now go back uh, again to the plugins page and uh, click add new again. We're going to add the second plugin that we need. Uh, search for AMP again and it should be the first one that just says uh, enable accelerated mobile pages on your WordPress uh, website. Um, it's by automatic. Um, click install. Wait for that to install. Once it's done, click activate. And then you should see a uh, AMP section on the left. Uh, just click on that, and you'll be uh, taken to the options page. Uh, and there's this left-hand menu here where you can change a bunch of options uh, for your pages. If you click General, uh, you can add a logo here if you like to uh, have your logo be on on the top of the page, uh, so people know uh, what website it is. It's really good for branding. Um, Next, you have the analytics. Um, you can put your own Google Analytics code in there uh, so that you can track visitors uh, on your AMP pages. Uh, you also have uh, some other custom options that you don't really need to mess with. Um, next is the design. And uh, if you click this link at the top here, it's kind of shows you what your website's going to look like on uh, on your accelerated mobile page. Um, you can see it loads really fast. Um, you got these options on the left here to hide and show uh, different pieces of information. Uh, if you want to show and hide the meta info, you can do that or the title or featured image. Um, you can also change the color of the the links on the page, and you can change the color of the header text. Um, a lot of good uh, customizable options here. Um, now if you go back and click SEO, there's a few SEO options here. If you already have uh, the Yoast SEO plugin installed, then uh, that works in conjunction uh, with this plugin to uh, just add those meta tags to your uh, AMP pages automatically so you don't even have to, to do anything with that. Um, those should already be in there. Um, if you don't have it, the Yoast SEO plugin is a great plugin for SEO. Um, allows you to add uh, good meta tags to all your pages and customize them, and uh, I would check that out. 
Um, next, we have the menu plugin, uh, or the, sorry, the menu option. Uh, this allows you to add menus to your AMP pages. Uh, just click the link, uh, and you can mess with your uh, menu settings um, down here for the AMP menu. Um, and then uh, go back. Uh, you can click design and you can see you know kind of how that menu would turn out if you want to check that um, next is the advertisements uh, if you want to put um, AdSense ads in your AMP pages uh, you can do so here uh, you just choose uh, what you click on on the ad you want to uh, show and then choose the ad size and then just paste in your analytics pub ID um, from AdSense and then if you'd like to put the ad slot ID in there as well you can do that here. Um, next is the single page. Um, this is for single page options uh, if you want to show the social icons or not and uh, the size of the featured image if you you know want a custom width and height for that and also if you want to show related, related posts from certain categories. Uh, the social tab uh, this should automatically integrate with um, with your WordPress site, if you have uh, your social shares already on there, uh, they should already be on and ready to go. Um, so you shouldn't have to do anything there. Uh, the structured data uh, allows you to add the logo, default post image, um, to give Google some more of that uh, structured data that it likes. Um, notifications in the translation panel you don't really need to mess with. Um, so now we are going to check and see if it worked. So go to a post um, and go to view page source and then click control F or search and search for AMP and you'll see uh, the link to our new AMP page. Um, and this allows uh, Google to know that this is an AMP page and it will show it to mobile users uh, if people are searching from their mobile phone. So if you want to see what the page looks like, you can click on it and uh, check it out. Uh, it loads really fast. Uh, that's the point of it. Uh, it's pretty basic, um, but it looks really good on, on mobile phones, and it loads really fast on mobile phones, which is why uh, Google prefers these pages over other pages. So that is how you add uh, AMP pages uh, simply to your WordPress site. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we're always posting uh, new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to this channel and follow us on Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn, and uh, have a good day.